Hello, hello. Uh, today we are going to talk about the Beer Guys and Ginger Fake. This is our group member, Kaidi, uh, me, um, Jackie, and Zilai Hu, Kun Chen, and Joe. This is our uh, group member. So the first guy is about. <laughs> The first one is Jackie. He will show you the background information of Bill Gates. Okay, Jackie. Uh, basically, Bill Gates is a co-founder of Microsoft. He was born on October 28, 1955 in Seattle, Washington, United States. He studied at the Lakeside School where he developed an interest in computing. And when he was just 13, he wrote his first software program on the computer, on the school computer. He graduated from high school in 19, 1973 and he was a National Merit Scholar with score almost 1,600 on the SAT. Then he enrolled at Harvard College later the same year. As a college student, he spent a lot of time on the computer, though he was not much interested in studying other subjects. Um, his friend Paul Allen suggested that um, he should drop out of college and, and start a business. Bill Gates and Paul Allen, his friends, collaborated to found Microsoft. In the beginning, they adapt BASIC, a popular programming language for use on my whole computer. Um, it proved to be success, and they continue to develop programming language software for various systems. In 1980, the duo was approached by International Business Machine, or IBM, with a proposal that Microsoft write BASIC for IBM upcoming personal computer, um, the IBM PC. And Microsoft launched its first retail version of Microsoft Windows in 1985. Over the following years, Windows came to dominate the world personal computer and the company saw phenomenal financial success and being the company largest individual shareholder. In 1990, Microsoft released its first version of Windows. In 1995, Windows 95 was released, it setting new standard and feature for operating system. And this version of Windows has been the backbone of our future release from Windows 2000 to the latest XP and Vista. In 2000, Bill Gates stepped down as Chief Executive Officer of Microsoft though he retained his position as chairman. He created the position of chef software architect for himself. And over the few years, he transferred his duty to the others at Microsoft. And he stepped down as chairman of Microsoft in 2014. And this is the end of my part. Now, Kai will talk about next. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for Jackie. Uh, and, uh, I will talk about the style of Bill Gates. Um, there are four advantages focus, creativity, caring, and learning, and uh, two disadvantages avoid conflict, conflict and uh, focus on results. Uh, so, the first one focus. Um, Bill Gates, he is uh, very focused on what he excels at and uh, always putting execution first. And uh, there are example we say when he was 13 years old, uh, he really like uh, computer and uh, he, spent, uh, he spent time always do it 
from day to night, he know everything else. And uh, at that time, uh, he just a nine grade student. So uh, the second one is creativity. Um, Bill Gates not only encourage innovation for himself, um, but also encourage uh, for the employees. And he believed that uh, creativity is very important in the company. And this was reflected in his childhood. Um, we all know the basic, the first uh, smart computer um, is created by his high school. And then is uh, Carly. Um, although Bill Gates is uh, often listed as uh, one of the richest people in the world, and uh, he's uh, uh, often cares about the medical care and the development in the poor area. Um, as we all know, he and his wife Melinda uh, create a company named uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And uh, this graph shows about the foundations from Bill Melinda Gates Foundation uh, from 2015 to 2018. And uh, we can see that this data is increasing every year. And uh, the last advantage is uh, learning. Um, some people say that Bill Gates uh, job off the school is so early, but on the other hand, uh, he is really like uh, learning, uh, such as uh, public speaking skill, communication skill, and uh, he think it's very important for him and uh, make him better and can improve and improve the social interactions. And for these advantages, the first one is avoid conflict. Uh, leaders want people can work together. And uh, but uh, in this process, conflict is always will be occurred. Um, as a transformational missional leader, usually face to this problem, but Bill Gates sometimes is a uh, avoid conflicts. So it will be led to problems cannot solve and uh, bring some uh, negative energy thrusts. And uh, the last one is uh, focus on results. Uh, most of leaders look for results is uh, from the process, um, but Bill Gates always focus on results, ignore process. So it will be laid uh, to more failures and uh, fighting. So next one is uh, Jason. He will talk about the target with uh, Bill Gates. Okay, thank you, Kai. Now I'm going to talk about the cheat of Bill Gates. So the first first thing yeah, Bill Gates is usually defined as a transformative leader because he he will encourage uh, his employees and his his own talent usually and he give the, he often give the encourage and support as a individual level rather than focusing on the team. So I think that's the reason why he's. Uh, transformative leader. Now I'm going to talk about the four tree of the business of Bill Gates. The first one, Vanessa Vanessa Pist. Yeah. As we know, uh, he is a Bill Gates is a famous billionaire. But why the lots of people like him? I think the reason is he focus on the charity. Let's see what he did before. This is some of thing he did for the other country's people. The first one, 750 million to mixing and immunization, 350 million to nature, school, 200 million used to set up the library programs, 100 million to the vaccine of children programs, and 40 million to the international vaccine organization. That's what he did. I said, yeah, that's really good as a billionaire, as a one someone who focuses on the charity. The second one, reading books. 
Bill Gates preferred to read books. He would learn some knowledge, and it's not just a dessert. It's not just a degree of dessert. It's like he's really greedy for knowledge. And Bill Gates doesn't like the e-book. Uh, he preferred to read. He preferred to read reading the hard books actually, and. Almost he will read about 15, uh, 50 books for each year, for a year and one almost one book for a week. That's what should we learn, I think. Yeah. The servant, he ignored the rules. The rulers. Yeah. yeah. According to some reports and news. Bill Gates is not a rule abandoning person, uh, especially sometimes he will run in trouble about the tra transportation trans uh, traffic. So he especially especially hire a traffic lawyer to help him to handle this kind of issues. Yeah, it's not cool. So maybe that's the reason why he could create the windows. Yeah, he. And the last one is a he believe in what he see. Bill Gates uh, and his friend uh, used to hold a seminar to, to show his plan, his idea to the audience. He believed his idea could help other people on the computer to make happiness, happiness maybe, he tried to do this thing, but at that time, no one, no one believed him, uh, he, they said it's, it's impossible, but the other people's words did affect, uh, affect Bill Gates, uh, he's seen on what he's seen, and still uh, tried to improve the idea uh, to create something that finally famous system Windows 1 is created in 1985. Now my part is finished. I'm going to hand over to the next person, my among my members, Hu Zilai. Uh, thank you for Jason. Uh, next time I will talk about uh, Yuan Zhengfei. Yuan Zhengfei, he is born in Guizhou province on October 24, and, and, and uh, 1944. He is, he is the main founder and the president of Huawei company. Uh, then next slide, I will talk, talk about uh, his history. In, in 1963, he studied in Chongqing College of uh, architecture and uh, engineering. After his graduation, uh, he worked uh, in a construction engineering company. Uh, then in 1974, he was drafted uh, into the army and uh, become an uh, infrastructure engineer. Then he then he participated uh, in the construction of uh, Liaoyang Chemical Fiber General Plant. Uh, he attended the uh, National Science Congress uh, in uh, 1978 uh, and uh, became a and uh, became a party to the 12th uh, National Congress of the Community Heart of China in 1982. Then in 1978. Uh, Ren Zhengfei raised the 12,000 yuan to set up a Huawei technology company and, uh, and uh, became uh, president uh, of Huawei in 1988. In 2003, Ren Zhengfei was selected by netizens as one of the top 10, uh, one of the top 10 rising IT figures in China in 2003. Uh, and uh, in 2005, he was listed uh, as one of the uh, 100 most influential people in the world by Time Magazine. And uh, 
Let's let Let's let in twenty eleven, Ren Zhengfei entered the Forbes Rich List for the first time with one point one billion dollars, and uh, this ranking uh, one thousand and one hundred fifty three in the world and uh, ninety two in China. Uh, in the twenty fifteen. Forbes China Rich List the rank the three hundred and fifty and the Global Rich List the rank the one thousand and seven seven hundred and forty one. Uh, under twenty six six, Huren IT Rich List the Ren Zhengfei rank the thirty five with the ten point five billion yuan. Then in March 2018, Ren Zhengfei ceased to serve as a vice, vice chairman and became a member of the board of directors. On October 24, he was selected into the list of 100 outstanding private entrepreneurs in the past 40 years of the reform. And the uh, opening up by the United Front Work Department of the Central Committee and uh, the All China Federation of Industry and uh, Commerce. In April 2019, it was released on the Time Magazine's annual list of the 100 most influential people in 2019. Then, then my partner Quinn will talk about the next part. Uh, many thanks for and uh, now I'm talk about uh, the uh, Ren Zhengfei's determination. Uh, as uh, we know, determination is an indispensable and uh, important leadership characteristic of a uh, leader. Uh, leaders' determination can motivate uh, employees to work harder and uh, enhance employee productivity. Uh, Huawei emphasizes that the only way to get an opportunity is to work hard. There is a common belief within the company that an IPO will result in only a few becoming very wealthy and uh, most uh, losing their motivation. Ren Zhengfei emphasizes that avoiding an in initial public of offering and uh, conforming to the current employee ownership structure will help the company maintain a strong spirit of uh, collective struggle. Then, uh, Ren Zhengfei is full of enthusiasm and uh, ambition. And uh, the enthusiasm and uh, uh, ambition are also a manifestation of the leader's determination. In 1994, Huawei was still a company that had been operating for less than seven years, as difficult as Huawei is. Uh, yet, yet founder Ren Zhengfei still has confidence in Huawei's future and uh, its great success a few years later. At that time, Ren Zhengfei often told stories to encourage his employees to imagine bright futures and uh, try to turn them into reality with his own hands. When Ren Zhengfei advocated Stated that Huawei would uh, occupy one third of China's wholesale market. Everyone regarded it as yet a, a, a joke. However, Ren Zhengfei and uh, Huawei finally did. We cannot uh, deny the role that passion plays in the process. The foundation of his focus on storytelling is his strategy to inspire people and uh, introduce 
fertility to the projects that need to be undertaken, especially in the company's entrepreneurial area. He used the two, uh, this strategy as uh, both a uh, strong mentor and a leader of employees. As a leader, he is used to putting forward uh, visions. And uh, as a mentor, he is uh, directing employees to achieve their goals. Uh, thank you for your listening. Now, uh, next speaker is uh, Kun. Uh, okay, thank you, Zai. And then I will, I will uh, introduce the skill model. And the first uh, case study, uh, Huawei spent uh, 30 million to introduce the BLM model. And through the skill model, the author analysis the random face individual uh, attribute, uh, attributes, uh, ability, and this. Uh, he's a person with the higher intelligence and self control. Uh, insight into uh, social investment and market decision, uh, demonstrate random face. Uh, leadership skills uh, decisively by uh, BOM model to improve their own te technology systems. Uh, and then uh, you can see the situation leadership's uh, second model. And the best one is the S2. Uh, and you can see the higher directive and the higher supportive behaviors. And then from the developing to the developed uh, is from the low competence and the higher communion, communion, commitment and uh, to the higher competence uh, and the higher commitment. Uh, and then you can see the Huawei's R&D investment and uh, nearly authorities' uh, patterns curves. Uh, and the blue lines is the R&D investment. Uh, uh, it's about uh, one billion dollars. And the red, red lines is the the number of the new patents granted uh, granted worldwide. And, and you can see the the two lines all the has the signif significantly increase and according to the uh, situa uh, situational leadership second model the re the research the, and the development of the 5G in Huawei within the 10 years was analyzed and over the past decades, more than uh, 480 billion billion yuan, uh, about uh, 73 uh, dollar, uh, billion dollars, has been spent on the R and D uh, through the development of the higher com commanders uh, such as 5G, uh, lower support such as the release of the OnePlus 8 Plus N, uh, 5G for since uh, strategy, TV and glasses in the clown. Uh, about Huawei VR and AR glasses, higher command and higher support are the disruptive smart glass of 5G plus uh, VR that Huawei will soon release. And then, uh, this space, uh, this is. Conclusion uh, random phase that based on the case analysis of the skill model and the situation situational uh, leadership second model uh, random phase is a uh, is a leader who guide the uh, employees to achieve the final goal go by purposing the vision. Okay, thank you uh, for your watching.